Hello, boys and girls, Mr. Rivera. Um, today for art, we are going to be talking about mm -hmm. art of the Tainos. So I'm sure you might be wondering, who are the Tainos? Well, the Tainos were um, a group of Native Americans that lived in Puerto Rico and Española, um, which is also known as Haiti, Dominican Republic. They also lived in Cuba, as well as several other um, islands in the Caribbean. So you can see here's a map of um, what Puerto Rico used to look like. Um, there were certain tribes that lived in certain areas and a lot of the names of places are actually from uh, the Taino tribes. Now, one question people have asked me is how did the Tainos get to the island? They came there thousands of years ago. Um, they didn't have big boats, they didn't have planes. Um, so how did they do it? Well, pretty much the Tainos use canoes. And we look over here, we can see the map of the Caribbean. And to the bottom is the uh, South America. So the Tainos actually came from South America and throughout a series of years, just went from island to island until they eventually got to Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, Haiti, Cuba, and Jamaica. So over hundreds of years, they slowly made their way um, to the places that they would end up living in. Okay, so the Tainos used to live in Yucayeques. Those are small towns all over the island. And they had one person in charge called El Cacique. Um, he was kind of like the mayor or the main chief. Um, they also lived in these um, huts which was usually the whole family. So they would live with your, if you live there, you live there with your mom, dad, grandma, cousins, aunts, uncles, your whole family would live together in um, one of these huts. Okay, so they actually invented the uh, canoe. So they would make them all different sizes, regular sizes, as we see in the picture, they made some giant ones. And even though they didn't have a lot of tools, um, they were able to carve these things. They would burn the inside of the wood so they can carve it using stone tools. And it was able, they were able to use them to travel large dis distances. Okay. Um, they also are known for inventing the barbacoa. So the concept of barbecuing meats. Um, the Tainos were one of the first ones to do it. Um, they also invented hammocks, so they used to actually mainly sleep in hammocks. And if you ever heard the word hurricane or huracan, that is actually a Taino word. Okay, um, so as I said earlier, they did not have metal tools, but um, they were able to make tools out of stone. Um, they were used them for weapons, for hunting, for cooking. Um, it was just a matter of finding the hardest stones they could and carving those. So one of the things that Inos are most famous for is their art. Um, so they created what are called petroglyphs. Petroglyph means a drawing on a stone. Um, so the Tainos would carve these all over, everywhere, um, and we can still find them today. So Tainos also were known for playing a game called Batu in a court like the one that you see. Um, and it was called a court of uh, bate, a corte de bate. Um, so we're not exactly sure the rules of the game, but it's kind of like a mixture of volleyball and dodgeball. Um, you're not allowed to touch the ball with your hands. And a lot of teams would play. So towns would play each other, um, kind of like how we do today with modern sports. Now the stones that we saw on the court a lot of them are actually decorated. So they have either painted or mainly carved, um, and then they would put ash or something inside of it so you can see the lines a little better. But there are still courts all over Puerto Rico and most of the Caribbean where you can still find um, these etchings on the stones. Okay, so one of the things that's pretty cool is that um, Tainos lived in a place that was warm, um, you know, it was not too hot, not too cold. They got rain, they had crops, they had pretty much anything they wanted 
on these islands. So they were actually one of the first people where we see them drawing faces with smiles. So if we look over here, this guy can see his big smile. Um, same with this guy, it kind of looks like he's laughing. So, you know, the Tainos, they said they were so happy that they wanted to show that in their art. Okay, so let's look at a couple uh, symbols. Now, one of the tricky things, the Tainos didn't have a written language, so they never wrote things down. Um, the only thing they used were these images, uh, these symbols. So the symbols are very simple because they have to be carved. Um, so a lot of them, we're not sure what they mean exactly. Some of them we have an idea. So if we look at the first couple, um, you know, if you see these symbols, they either means water or snails. Uh, if we look down here at the bottom, we can see the koki. We can see also another frog. Um, shamans were their, kind of like their doctors. Um, so they were very important in the tribe. So we have symbols for them. Um, the sun, there's many, many different symbols for the sun. Um, they felt the sun was very important because that's what provided, you know, their food and pretty much everything they had. So we see lots of sun symbols. Okay, um, we also see lots of babies. So the Tainos would wrap their babies um, in cloth. They, it's called swaddling, so the baby would be safe and the mom could carry the baby while they um, did stuff in the farm or picking crops. Um, we also see turtle, another shaman, and then down here, there are symbols for uh, the goddesses that they worshiped. All right, so what we are going to do today um, attached to the assignment is a file with about 25 different symbols. And what you're gonna do is you're going to pick five, you're gonna draw them, you're gonna color them in. Um, we're gonna watch a short video just to show you how to do it. And when you're done watching, you can start your drawing. Um, when you finish drawing your five symbols, you can add to it, you can decorate. Um, maybe you can draw a picture of something you saw in the video as well. Um, and then you would just upload and um, upload it to Google Classroom. Okay, so for today's activity, we're going to draw some Daino symbols. Um, so attached to your lesson was a handout that you can print out of various symbols, or you can just look at it on your computer screen. What I'm going to do is I'm going to look, and I'm going to pick five symbols that I'm going to draw. Um, you can try the ones that are easier. You can try some that are challenging. Um, but So on your paper, you just want to try your best to draw them. So let's see, I'm gonna do this guy here. I wanna do the cookie. Um, I like this little sun. Okay, I got three, two more to go. Um, this guy looks kind of funny, so. And finally, I'm going to do this little thing that looks like a heart. All right, so I have my five symbols. Um, you can color them if you want. You can decorate around them. So it is up to you. So when you are finished, you know the routine, take a picture of your work and upload it to Google Classroom.